Hey guys, it's BNL. Welcome back to Hexen. I have taken a little bit of a break. Like I recorded this on Monday, and I'm back on Wednesday to record some more. Now the big question: Ooh. Apparently, this the melee attack with this weapon actually drains life. Interesting to know. Um, so anyway, we looked around here. But I've kind of come to grips that you're supposed to pull the switch and it opens the death. Also, by the way, um, I found out that, uh, you know how I said earlier that for some odd reason later in the game these guys will fire projectiles? That's because the guys that fire projectiles are different enemies, but they have almost identical sprites. I believe they're slightly different in color. I'll, I, I can't remember what's the difference, but when we see them, I'll try and figure it out. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Well, hey guys, it's been a welcome back to... Ugh, oh, stuff that. Stuff that. Obviously, I am really good at this game, apparently. So the melee attack... Oh, it's kind of risky. Doing all this. Alright, we'll actually, you know what, run out, hit these guys. Actually, you know what? Gonna put one of those down. Also, yeah, there's a uh, kind of skeletons on them. They're not quite skeletons. They're not quite dead. They're kind of close, but. Ah! That guy's getting hit by that guy with the fireball. He's like, oh, no, oh, oh, heck no. That's what I love about the Doom Engine. It's like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I don't know how. But that's okay. That's the item that makes you fly, I believe. So the big question is how do you get there? Oh, snap. <laughs> I was just going like, oh snap, you got one. Oh gosh, there's another one. Yeah. There you go, Wings of Wrath. I should probably take out this guy, because I'm a little bit OCD. But, uh, anyway, I cut the last part a little bit. I was about to say I cut it short, but... Ah, once you kill all of them, then the, those steps appear, which allows you to shoot this guy a couple of times. And he dies, which is good, because now you've got the segment of Wrath Verge. Having passed the seven portals which sealed this realm, a vast domain of harsh wilderness stretches before you. Fire, ice, and steel have tested you. But greater challenges remain ahead. The dense tangle of forest surely hides hostile eyes. But what lies beyond will be worse. Barren desert, dank swamps, and musty caverns bar your way. But you cannot let anything keep you from your fate, even if you might come to wish that it would. And beyond, flickering in the distance, the ever-shifting walls of the hypno, the hippo style, seem to mock your every effort. Oh, gosh, my right. servants can smell your blood, human. We're up to Shadowwood, which is apparently map 13. Yeah. You were thinking they were gonna have some really large trees, but no, they just kinda use some sprites for the trees. Sprites are good looking. Despite the fact that they look the same. Also, there's a lot of centaurs. I believe these guys are called centaurs. Centaurs. I didn't really realize that they were centaurs. I didn't quite really see the foreleg. I mean, it's kind of like one's ahead when you hit them. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Now, this is the second hub. Also, I'll grab that. Which is a little bit worse. Seven portals was a little bit was kind of obvious, you know, where you had to go. You just go through the portals, right? 
Uh, this place is kind of like that, but the hub world definitely has its own challenges as well. Ooh. Some of which you may notice. You may notice. Um, but yeah. Now, I'm recording this on the 21st. On this day, I pre-ordered my Wii U, which is kind of weird. I should have pre-ordered it, like, about five months ago, maybe. Oh, for a second, I thought there was something there. Fancy. Also, by the way, I found out that the mage has some pretty powerful weapons at its disposal. Um... The Cleric is the easiest class, according to the Doom Wiki. The Cleric is the easiest class. By the way, we're getting green M, uh, mana. According to the Wiki, the Cleric is the easiest class. Oh, frick. The swamp in this. Did you see that thing? Yeah! Holy snap, we're getting ganged up on. Uh, yeah, sometimes you just kind of wander around and then you just magically auto attack like Yeah, yeah he's, there. he's there. They do exist in the swamp as in oh, For God's sake these guys are kind of creepy. I don't like these guys very much. I Just want to take them out Do they do they multiply seriously? By the way, the max number of item of one item you can hold is. I am stuck in the swamp. I can't seem to figure a way to get. Out. Oh yeah. Duh. Up here. Um. I've got no ammo as well. Oh yeah. Get in there. Take him out. Touch him real quick and go. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I should have pre-ordered the Wii U a little bit earlier. But, hey, pre-order it. Now, you're, if, for you Americans, the Wii U is coming out in Australia on the 30th, which means we get a little bit late. It's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird people go, Oh, it's not going to have the TV out for two, for two weeks. Uh, it's a disappointment. The woes have begun already. Thank you, CNET. It's like, are you kidding me? Wow. Just because we are getting a feature two weeks later. Uh, by the way, yeah. Then you've got to... I just realized that you can, but... Okay, if you go up here now... Did the guy on the top die? Not that guy. Grab it. Touch it. There you go. I'll grab that. Oh, I'll stop the whole thing. Okay. It's narrow, I'll tell you that. Hello, Mr. I. Staff. By the way, these guys, I believe, will try and attack you if you're close to the thing. Oh, but I'll uh, stuff that. Oh, yeah. Combine mana. They're the good things. Now, we are in Dark Mirror. Which is apparently a much earlier map. These are trees, they break. I actually like this map a lot. This map is pretty cool. Why am I not just shooting them? Shoot them down! Um. Although I hate these guys! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, a car beeped outside. I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Just, just, just get off. Actually, I'll call another one. If you stand in the lake and nothing attacks you, there are no, there are none left. They've all died. Oof. Oof. Oh. I, I, I do like this map. Although now I'm starting to get scared. I don't know why, because I, I really don't remember myself getting scared. I think it's because I was a fighter. I was just like, yeah, yeah, just walk up to those guys, punch them in the face. Because seriously, those guys on the lake. The fighter, oh yeah. Uh, I was talking about the classes. The major, the major's the hardest class. Uh, just because he's not very good at close range. The cleric is a good mix of the two. 
uh, but he's probably the easiest class just because he gets the ranged weapons, while the fighter is kind of straightforward-ish, but he's a little bit tricky. Also, look at that, that is lovely. Yeah, get get out of there. Get out of there. Is there another one in there? Oh, for gosh sake. I think I got him, actually. There's a face on the wall. It's not as creepy. That's why you don't hard hardware render kids. Dude, was there a thingy there? Oh, I'm backing up. Oof. I don't like those things. Um. Oh yeah, there's a second path. But yeah, the worst part is that since enemies respawn, I'm, you're gonna have to. Fight these guys. Oh, guess not. So I guess we have to go that way. Okay. Well, I gotta look for a switch somewhere, I guess. That's pretty cool how the water just kind of does that. I mean, this is on the freaking Doom engine. That's pretty cool for the Doom engine. Although, the big question is. How do you open that door? I don't know, we've just gone to the wrong... No, we're stuck in here, so it's obviously... There's some path we can go. Um, so yeah. So if you want a very straightforward class, the fighter is a good one. Uh, if you want the easiest class, the cleric is the easiest one, but if you want... But the mage is probably the most destructive, but he's kind of tough to use. Okay, okay, okay. how come this door with the... Thing on? I keep hearing... Dude, this statue doesn't have the fire. That was the puzzle. Oh, snap. <laughs> I was just going, hmm, this one doesn't have a fire on it. Yes! You got the weapon! Again. The Disc of Repulsion, I believe, forces enemies away from you for like a little bit of time. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll get you! Yeah, I'm sticking over here. Come at me, bro! What's in here? The face. Push the switch. What happened? Um, Spotify happens apparently. I should probably have disabled my Skype and whatnot. Probably close everything that that was making noise. Ah, there we go. Um, but anyway, yeah. There you go. I just realized we're in a new swampy area. Quick, run it. Door is barred from the inside. Oh, dude, dude, where'd you come from? Where did you come from? I do think the melee actually gives you health. That's a, that's a key, not a weapon. Oh gosh, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting scared. Ooh. Okay, through the portal. And we end up back down here. Did we get anything out of that? God, these guys are respawn. Yeah, get, get. Get, get, get your face out of there. Yeah, hate him. Oh, I'm not even out of ammo. Run it! Run it! Ugh. Oh gosh, why is everything coming back? Um, so yeah. You can hold only up to 25 of any item, which I believe is a plus for the Heretic, which only allows you to carry 60 of any item. 
Uh, if you're wondering why didn't I go this way, it's because I wanted to... Make sure I had done a little bit of the stage before. Just get past all of them. I wanted to do a little bit of the stage before because, as you can see, platforming. Get, get your face out of here. But you'll find blue vials around and whatnot. So there's no mana anywhere, okay. I'm just gonna run it. And the other problem is that there are a couple of enemies here. And unfortunately as the fighter you've got absolutely no way of taking them down. So this is this is how you would try and take him down as a fighter. Of course a fighter deals more damage, so the fighter has a bit of an advantage here. Switching. I want to take him out before I even get out of there. Well, the other challenge is managing to get back. Okay, we're good. And it opens that door, which is handy. Too bad there's all this stuff here. Jeez! Is there any mana? Nope, there's a lot of health. But... Okay, okay, portal! <laughs> We have ended up in Wastelands, which is not one of my favorite maps, to be honest. The main reason about this is that this map is confusing. Also, there's some brown ones. Someone took a... Oh, yeah. You don't want to get hit by brown ones. Brown ones ain't no good for you. As you can tell from the kills number, there's a lot more enemies than in previous stages, or at least a, a considerable amount. Probably actually get down from here. Get down. And now I gotta whack him. So it'd be good once you get the next weapon, but you don't get it for a little bit. Some very nice lighting in this game, I'll tell you that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um One thing I didn't explain is that even though this game came out in 1995 ports came out a good two years later. Uh, so, yeah, by that stage, the 64 had come out. See, if I if I had something with the green ammo, my mana, maybe. But no. Okay, I'm backing it up. Back it. Oh, crap. Why'd you come down here? Okay, that guy's not coming down. But... Also, by the way, occasionally, some uh, pillar of rock will stick up out of the earth. Like that. And then it goes back down. It keeps you on your edge. You don't want to get stabbed. Anyway, I'll see you kids next time on Hexen.